In this video, we're going to look at four different ways to remove backgrounds from pictures so that you can import them and do a print then cut in design space. The first solution we'll look at is Background Burner Personal Edition. We'll begin by dragging and dropping an image into the web page. And I'll use a simple picture of myself. And the reason I chose this picture is to show you the ease or difficulty with which you can do this. The background has a lot of grass and greenery and it's a very close color to my shirt. So that may or may not make the editing difficult. So now we have the preview of the image and what is detected, we'll click the touch up button. And with a quick overview of the tools, the red are area to mark areas that you do not want to keep, and the green is to mark areas that you do want to keep. This button toggles the outline as far as what is going to be shown on the preview on the right hand pane. Of course you have undo, zoom in and zoom out, you can do zoom to fit, you can toggle smooth edges, and you can toggle the checkerboard background for transparency, and you can also view it as a single image or a before and after type view. The advanced tools are the brush mask eraser and the polygon mask eraser, as well as the brush mask restorer and polygon mask restorer. These buttons allow you to view the image in various states, such so as the original, the hybrid, or the edited edition. Using the red tools, you can mark specific areas that you do not want to keep. However, this is kind of a crude method, as is using the green tools, because it's very difficult to get a very close edge on what you're working on unless you zoom in tight. However, using the eraser and restorer tools, you can get a much more accurate result, in my opinion. And so as you see, the part that's dimmed out is the part that is detected that it wants to remove. And you can see the darker areas are what's showing up in the preview. So if I go to the restorer tool, I can actually just kind of push back these areas that I want to keep. And I'm just kind of doing this quickly to show you how this works. I'm not looking for perfect edges, but it does work very well. I can also adjust my brush size so that I can do more at one time. And then if I want to zoom in and get real close and get the finer points, I can do that as well. And as you can see on the right hand side, I was able to get that pretty clean. Then we can go back to a zoom to fit. If I toggle the transparency, you can see how that would turn out. And of course, I'd want to clean this up a little better. Then if I click save and close, I'll be prompted if I want to sign up for a free account. The next solution we'll look at is Clipping Magic. Clipping Magic is a subscription service for as low as $3.99 a month for up to 15 images a month. So it is fairly expensive, and if you're only going to be removing backgrounds, that is not too bad if you're doing quite a few a month. So we'll start by dragging and dropping our image. And as you can see, we get the left and right original and result, kind of the before and after picture like we had with Background Burner, as well as the green and red tools to mark, an erase tool, a scalpel or a cut tool, and then a pan tool. So if we zoom in and out, we can move the image around and an undo and a redo as well as clear. And we can zoom to fit and of course save our image. We also have some additional controls to control the size of the brush, the type of background we see, the rotate and straighten, as well as contrast controls. Our crop tools, shadows, and refinement. So 
So we'll begin by using the red tool to mark areas that we wish to remove. And next, we'll mark areas in green that we wish to keep. And as you can see, it has a little bit different edge detection tool than the background burner does. And I do like this one a little bit better. And we can make our adjustments as necessary. And we see our results on the right-hand side. And we can see that we need to trim that up just a little. And you can see that pretty quickly we have deleted our background and gotten a pretty clean result image. And now if I click the download button, I'll be told that I need to subscribe in order to download my image. Again, as low as $3.99 a month, which isn't bad if you're doing quite a few of these images. And that is pretty much all you do is edit, crop, and remove backgrounds. The next solution we'll look at is Pixlr. Pixlr is a great web-based application that is free and it has very much the same editing tools that Photoshop has. It's not quite as robust, but it is a very nice application. So we'll begin by opening the web app for Pixlr Editor. And we'll open an image from my computer. And we'll open the same image. One of the things I like to do sometimes in Pixlr is to zoom out just a little bit so that I have this extra bit of space around it that's this light gray area. And that will come in handy in a moment and I'll show you where. With the Pixlr editor, I like to use the lasso tool. And I change it to the polygonal lasso tool. With this tool, you can simply click along the edges and select the area that you wish to cut out. And I'll just do this quickly for demonstration purposes again. And if I were to zoom in and get a closer view of the edges, I could get a very, very fine edge cut out of the image. And this is actually the way I prefer doing this because of the accuracy and the way that I can trim the edges very closely. And this is where this little extra bit of space around the edges comes in. Because I can click off of the edge of the image and go all the way around like this. And you see I still have my line, even though you can't see it when I'm up here. All the way back to my beginning point. And when I double click, you'll see that it highlights the image all the way around the edges and all the way around the area that I selected. Now before I delete this, there's one thing I need to do, and that is to unlock my layer. And I can do that by double clicking this little lock. And you see it goes to a check mark. And now if I hit my delete button, it will simply delete the layer. And now I can save this as a PNG file. And I'll show you how we import that into Design Space in a moment. Finally, my favorite photo editing tool, of course, is Photoshop. And Photoshop is not a free application, so you may or may not want to subscribe to it. They do have a plan as low as $9.99 a month, so you can have access to Photoshop and I think uh, Adobe Lightroom as well. So just like Pixlr, you use the polygonal lasso tool. The interface to Photoshop is a little bit easier to use because I can zoom in and out and do other advanced things while I'm working on it. So if I want to get real close and get real, real fine edges cropped out of this, I can do so. And I can also just drag my mouse around and it will scroll my image around for me. And I can again zoom in and out so I can get a close look at what I'm working with.
again I'm just doing this quickly for demonstration purposes if I were to do this very slowly I could get a really clean cut image cropped out of this picture and this one will be fairly clean anyway Now with Photoshop, since I'm my layer is locked, I have to unlock it so I can right click and click layer from background. And then I can delete that background as well. As you can see, I have a very clean image from Photoshop. And of course, Photoshop, like I said, is not a free application. It is $9.99 a month. So if you compare that $9.99 a month for Photoshop to the $3.99 a month for just 15 images for Clipping Magic, Photoshop is quite a bargain and I highly recommend it. You can also have access to a lot of other photo editing tools and I'll have other videos on my channel soon on how to utilize Photoshop. I'm using version CS5 so I'm not even on the most current version but most of the tools that I'll be doing in my videos will apply cross platform and cross version as well as a lot of them like I said apply to Pixlr which is a free web based application that can do many of the same things as Photoshop. Now that we saved our PNG file earlier when we were using Pixlr in the demonstration, we can go to Upload Images, Basic Upload, we can browse for our image. And as you can see, when we import it, the background is transparent. We can click Continue, Save it. We can insert the image into our project. And if we click Go, we'll be prompted for a print then cut. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.